All right, so we're going to continue to use FTP and, and apply it when we're ordering rational numbers. So a rational number is pretty much all your positive and negative integers and your fractions and your decimals and even your percents. All right, so um, it says in the directions that we need to change everything to the same type of number. And then um, if we're working with decimals, we may have to add zeros if we need to. And so you can change everything to a fraction, you can change everything to a decimal, or you can change everything to a percent. And normally people don't change everything to fractions because that seems to be harder and they would all need a, a common denominator when you uh, put them in order. So usually people will change everything to either a percent or to a decimal. All right, so let's just get started. I know that I'm going to change my fractions because I don't want to work with common denominators right now. So to change a fraction to a decimal, I'm going to divide 20. <clears throat> into 3. I can't do that, so I'm going to add my decimal and my 0. 20 will go into 30 once, and when I subtract, I get 10. Bring down another 0. 20 will go into 100 five times, so this is 0.15. Alright, so I'm just going to try to keep it all organized over here. So I know that 3 twentieths, I'll do it over here, 3 twentieths was 0.15, and as a percent, because I'm going to practice with my percents, I'm going to move it over two places and make it 15%. All right, I can see that I have 0 0.05. If I'm going to change it to a percent, I move it two places. So this would be 5%. 18% is already a percent, so I don't need to change it. 1.8, if I'm going to change it to a percent, I have to move it two places, which means this time I'm going to have to add a zero, so 180%. And then I need, a, I have a fraction here, so I'm going to change my fractions into decimals. And um, 9 won't go into 50, or 9... Oh, I'm doing this from top in, bottom out, sorry. 50 won't go into 9, add your decimal, bring it up, and your 0, 50 will go into 90 one time. I subtract, I get 40, bring down another 0, 50 will go into 48 times. All right, so that tells me that I have 1 and 9 fiftieths, which would be the same thing. Don't forget to include your whole number, 1.18. As a percent, that's going to be moved over two places, so 118%. And the last one is 4%. All right, so I'm supposed to order these least to greatest. So I'm going to start with the smallest percent, um, which looks like 4% here. So that's my first thing. And then after 4% would be 5%, which actually started off as 0.05. So I'm going to rewrite it like that. And after 5%, looks like 15% would be next. 15% started off as 3 twentieths, so I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it that way. 18% would be next. It was already a percent. After 18%, it looks like 118%, which started off as 1 and 9 fiftieths. And then my last one would be 180%, which began as 1.8. So this is my list of numbers in order. All right, so let's try again. You're ordering least to greatest. I'm going to start by changing those fractions into decimals. So if I divide 25 into 9, that won't happen. So I add my decimal, my 0, 25 will go into 93 times. I subtract 75. I get 15, bring down another 0, 25 will go into 156 times. All right, so I have 9 25ths. That's the same thing as 0.36. And I'm going to change it to percent to get 36%. Right, 0 0.7, I can change that to a percent really easily by adding a zero, so that's 70%. 0 0.364, I need to move it again, just two places, so this time there's still a decimal, 36.4%. 72%, that's already a percent, I don't have to change anything. Seven and six fifteenths means I need to use Tybo. So I can't divide 15 into 6, add your decimal, bring it up, add your 0. 15 will go into 64 times. Alright, so 7 and 6 fifteenths is the same thing as 7.4. If I move it two places, that's 740%. And this is already a percent, so 7.2% is my next thing. Alright, so if I'm going to put these in order least to greatest, <clears throat> um, my smallest percent 36, 70, 36, 72, 740, 7.2. My smallest percent is 7.2%, and that's what it started as. Okay, after 7.2%, looks like 
I have 36 and 36.4. So if I'm not sure which one should come next, I can make this 36 point what? Zero. And then it's obvious that 36% would come next. So this is 9 over 25. And 36.4% would come next. So that was 0.364 originally. Um, all right, and then I'm going to jump up to 70%, which started as uh, 0.7. And then 72%, which was already a percent. And then the last one is 740%, which started off as 7 and 6 fifteenths. All right, so that's least to greatest. And pay attention to what it says, because sometimes they switch it, make it greatest to least, and so I would just reverse the order in that case. All right, and um, here's another example. 85%, that's already a percent, so I don't need to change anything. A, oh, this one is $8.23, so it's just another way um, to write a decimal, but I am still um, can change it to a percent. So I'm starting with 8.23 to change it to a percent. I move it over two places, so this is still 823%. 8 and 2 thirds, that's my fraction, so top in, bottom out. Add your decimal, bring it up, add your zero, three, I'll go into 26 times. All right, and I can see that this is going to be repeating. All right, so this one is 8 and 2 thirds. I can rewrite it as 8.6 repeating, but to move my decimal place two places, I'm going to have to add not a 0 this time, but a 6, so 866, and I'm going to show that it's going to continue to repeat. So 86.6 and then, or 86, 866.6 repeat percent. Um, and then I see 8.5%. I don't need to change that one. 0.84. If I move it two places, I get 84%. Um, 8 and 200. So I'm going to be dividing. 100 won't go into 2, so add a decimal and a 0. Um, 100 won't go into 20, so I need to put a 0 here before I add another 0. 100 will go into 200 now two times. All right, so 8 and 2 hundredths is the same thing as 8.02. And if I move my decimal place two places, 802%. And the last one is 0 0.08. If I move it two places, I get 8%. All right, so put these in order, least to greatest. I'm looking for my smallest percent. Um, so I have... Um, these are pretty big, 8.5% and 8%. So which would be smaller, 8% or 8.5? Now I could rewrite this as 8.0% and then I can see it's smaller. So 0 0.08 is what it started as and then 8.5%. All right, so then I'm gonna look for the next largest percent and it looks like I have 84 and 85% here. So 84 would come first, 0.84 and then 85%. Um, and now I have percents that are 800 or more. So the smallest percent that I have left is 802%. And it started off as 8 and 2 hundredths. And then these two are left, so 823% would be next. That was 8.23. The last one is 8 and 866, which is 8 and 2 thirds. All right, so there's least to greatest again. And then in this last example, um, I have some negative numbers. I'm going to treat these just the same as I've done um, things in the past. So negatives are going to come before positives. Um, and negatives tend to um, get smaller as they approach zero. All right. So the larger the negative, the smaller the number, or the least it, its value. All right. So I have negative 40%. So since this is already a percent, I don't need to change it. 730%, also a percent, don't need to change it. Negative 46, all right? So to change negative 46 into a percent, I need to move my decimal over two places. All right, so where is the decimal? It's back here. So when I move it over two places, I'm gonna have to have add two zeros. So this becomes negative 4,600%. It's kind of a big percent. All right, don't lose the negative, and don't forget, you still always um, move your decimal two places when you're changing a, um, like a, even a whole number to a percent. All right, so negative 2150 is dividing 50 into 21. 50 won't go into 21. Add your decimal places, add your zero. 
50 will go into 210 four times. I'm going to have 10 left over, bring down another 0. 50 will go into 100 two times. All right, so I can say that negative 21 50 is the same thing as negative 0.42. And then as a percent, I still need to move my decimal over two places. So I'm going to make sure to keep the negative and change this to negative 42 percent. All right, then I have 7.03. I need to change that to a percent, becomes 703%. And then this one, 0 0.45 as an absolute value. And remember, the absolute value is just how far is it, is it from zero. So 0 0.45, the absolute value is still just at 0.45. It's positive. In my class, we said if you go into prison, you have to come out positive. And then I still, um, because it's a decimal, need to change it to a percent. So I'm going to move it two places. Make this 45%. All right, so let's put them in order. I have negative 40%, negative 4,600%, negative 42%. I'm going to start with my negatives because I know negatives come um, before positives. So which of these is the most negative? Well, this one is very negative. Negative 4,600%, it started off as negative 46, so it comes first. And then um, negative 40 and negative 42%. My next most negative would be negative 42%. It started off as negative 21 50 Okay, then negative 40%. I didn't have to change that one. All right, and now I switch to positive numbers. And so I'm going to start with my smallest positive and then get larger. So I have the positive numbers I have. <clears throat> I have 730, 703, and 45. Well, 45 smaller than 700. It started off as the absolute value. 0 0.45 and then of the two left I have let's see 730 and 703 this one's smaller so 7.03 my last one is 730 percent all right so that is least to greatest ordering rational numbers now I could have changed everything to a decimal and then put them in order um, but sometimes percents um, are just easier because it changes everything and um, to more like a whole number, and sometimes it's easier to uh, put numbers in order when we're not thinking about the decimals so much. But if you if you don't want to do that, you can change them all to and decimals and try it that way. Um, and then it's even possible to change everything to a fraction, although that's not very common. All right, well, good luck ordering rational numbers.